think American business has come through a serious crisis because of the collapse of the financial sector and the resultant uh, weakening and recession. Wages have become relatively flat. You see this in the housing market and in the financial markets and in so many different places where the responsibility for running businesses is divorced from the risk, is divorced from who's making money. And I don't think that's what capitalism is supposed to be about. In an employee-owned company, universally, whether it's a co-op, ESOP, mutual fund, whatever it may be, I have more control. And that makes me much more comfortable about my life, my future, and what could happen to myself and my family. The original idea for ESOP, the concept was invented by an economist named Lou Kelso, a little bit of an unconventional economist in the 1950s, and he had this idea that capitalism has a problem, and the problem is that there aren't enough capitalists, that there's no way for ordinary working Americans to share in the value that they're creating in the workplace. We spend a lot of time in this thing we call work, and if it doesn't feel engaging and like people care about you and that you get to be yourself, that's a problem. I grew up in the Silicon Valley. My dad worked for one of the big companies there. And in growing up in the 60s and, and the 70s and the 80s, you know, there was a lot of excitement generated by employee ownership of the companies where people got stock options and felt good about what they were doing and was sort of wide open organizations. So those were the kinds of things that we wanted to bring to the construction world. It didn't exist. Most companies exist just to maximize financial return for stockholders. That's not the reason our company exists. Our company exists to maximize the return for all stakeholders, the environment, the community, employees, vendors. We don't want one stakeholder to maximize its return at the expense of all the others. Uh, my name's Wade Andrews. I'm a co-owner of Namaste Solar and also a residential lead installer. Someone like myself would be considered a grunt, you know, we're, we're really uh, labor. I feel a lot more valued. You know, having the input in, in all company meetings, there, there's just a, a greater level of respect throughout the company. If we have to make a decision in the field, I don't have to call, you know, a higher up. I treat my job like it's, like it's my own business. Knowing that uh, you have great people around you, respectful relationships, and uh, people doing great things. I lined up well with DPR because they took that very corporate ladder and in effect lay it on its side to where you have equal access to action and influence. You don't have to climb a ladder to be influential. When the company that I worked at was bought up by a larger corporation, they offered early retirement to people that were 55 years old and older. It was a really, really crappy feeling that all the years of experience that I had, that there, there wasn't that much value to it. New Belgium was more than happy to have me for peace of mind and for being valued and appreciated. I'm really happy to be where I'm at. There's a 401k available that I've uh, contribute to, and then the ESOP part of it, but every year that grows. So, so that's also gonna help immensely when uh, Rose and I decide that we're gonna retire and that we're gonna take the Airstream and head for the lake. Five years ago, I sold my house that I was in and bought another house, but I never graduated college or anything else. But through the open book management, I was able to do that myself. I remember thinking as I'm doing all this and they're signing the papers and they're looking at me like, who is this guy? <laughs> like, wow. Because I'm an owner in New Belgium and there's open book management and I'm able to do this and do a half a million dollar transaction. You know, a warehouse worker, a dock, you know, a forklift driver is doing this. There's no such thing as a company that's too small. There's no such thing as a company that's in the wrong industry. From one company with seven employees to one company with 40,000 employees, the thing that they have in common is so much more important than all the things that make them different. They're all focused on employee ownership as a vehicle for creating this really energized company. You have something like 11,000 ESOPs in the United States today across all industry sectors, across all kinds of recognizable brands, and thousands of companies that you just never would have heard of.